lonely mountains downhill. I have nothing unlocked, so I can't customize bugger all. So let's get straight to it. Um, I guess I'm doing this. <laughs> Accept challenge. Oh, let's go. Ooh. I'm a woman. I can pick another. No, I can't pick another crate. I'm gonna be. Okay. That one. I can't pick any of those options, so let's just get down to it. Get down to it. Okay. Select mountain. What mountain are you doing? Oh, I wasn't. Um, I guess it's like the first one or something. Widow's Ravine, then I'm doing. Are you started? Yeah, yeah, I'm going. I don't I'm, know. I'm, I don't even know what this game is yet. On. I'm starting riding. Oh. You can just fall off your bike if you just press B. You just fall off your bike. No, I'm going to follow the tutorial. Right, RT is accelerate. And that's to get an achievement. Okay. Oh. 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 Fuck. Left, right. What the hell? What's that? Yeah, that. Let's do that. As somebody who used to actually do mountain bike, uh, I never did downhill because it's scary as fuck. <laughs> and I should have just illustrated that. <laughs> um, I was more of a single track kind of guy. I own a mountain bike. Uh, it's hung up in my garage for I've the last four years. Been with you on your mountain bike. <laughs> that time my mountain bike fell off your fucking car roof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we did not make it out of our hometown. We got onto the motorway for about 30 seconds and our bikes just collapsed off the roof. We weren't even on the motorway. We were on the slip road going to the mating road. That is, well, that's a good time that to do it. That actually did worry me that I was going to lose my £1,000 mountain bike. I was worried I was going to crash my car. Which I loved at that time. It was the only thing in my life that I loved. Um... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I've got a checkpoint. Oh, I've done some check... Oh. Um, I can't say that I've been out on my mountain bike that much since I tore that muscle in my back, so... Uh... Oh, when was that? Fuck. Oh, uh, well, four, maybe five years ago? Did you do that mountain biking? Uh, it's when I was playing football for that uh. terrible club. I told you, sport is sport is bloody uh, awful. Sport is no good. Sprint, a. Eh? Oh, I'm learning some things. This is good. This is good. I'm learning how to die. Huh? <laughs> oh right. no! Sport is definitely no good for anybody. Well, everyone you ever hear has ever had a heart attack, or, you know, this is not oh. true. This is not based on fact as all. <laughs> but. People have heart attacks because they don't do any sports, so, and people have heart attacks when they do do too much sports, so. I know, so I just don't do sports, is what I'm saying. It's no good for you. When was the last time you did anything active, Jason? Uh... How active is active? Fuck. Oh, how long ago did I fuck? Cycled into uh, <laughs> That was quite active. That probably was the last active thing I did, actually. Um, and that was quite a while ago. I don't know. Ah! I'm not too sure whether our... subscribers want to hear you. Fucking... Uh, leave a comment. And we'll make a poll. And that's what I did. And that's where You'll I went You'll make wrong. a poll. And I hurt myself. Pulled my back out. Pulled my back out? Pulled my back out. Me, I hit that rock at the no. slowest. No. That's what she said. Oh, please start me at that checkpoint I was next to. Please. Yes. <laughs> right, it's never been that bad. Ah, ah. It's been that bad. Right, we are. <laughs> we're going down here. It's all going down here. We're going down. <laughs> yeah. The channel, the sex, and this mountain bike. It's, it's all, all connected. Going Everything is. It's. Uh, what's that word? It's um Interlink? No. What's the uh A trifecta? 
What's the... Uh... Oh, I've lost the ability to speak. What's the Dirk Gently? Holistic. That's what I was getting at. Right. Dirk Gently. Never seen it. Did you never read it? No, never read it, never seen okay. it. So, Dirk Gently is Holistic Detective Agency, which has so far been two novels, uh, at least two completely separate TV shows. One with uh, Stephen Mangan and one with Elijah Wood, is it? Although he's not playing Dirk Gently, Elijah Wood. He's playing his mate. Uh, I thought they were both good. I hope that comes back, actually. Although I didn't get into the second series as much as the first one of the American one. Until the end, when it all started making sense. But I think that's part of the problem. I'm trying to realise I'm explaining this to you who's not watched it. <laughs> or read the book. No, it just sounds like... So, it's... The, 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 the premise is basically that everything is connected and it all comes together naturally. Which does work for the show but the problem is it's based on the fact of lots of wild and crazy things that are happening that don't make much sense but they are interconnected which gradually come together so if you're watching like a seven or nine part tv show where that's the premise the first six episodes make no sense until you get to the final two episodes and you go oh it's all coming together <laughs> yeah i've got no time for that but i enjoyed it but I think the first episode... Oh! The first season was more about um, time travel and how that affects things. Um, whereas the second one was more about a fantasy world. Um, and I was just more into the time travel, I think. Oh, fuck. But they're both good. I, I would like to see a third season. Although, presumably... That's not a book it could be based on. So they'd have to make it up all completely. What else was that? Uh, oh, what was that other show that was on recently? Um, did you watch... Uh, speaking of... Oh, sorry, I am going to edit this so I sound like a human. Possibly. Uh, what's, what's the David Tennant uh, and the other man, uh, Angel Demon thing that was on? Good Omens. Did you watch Good Omens, the recent one? Um, I'm a fan of the book, and I didn't like the way that they did some of the um, things. So oh, I thought it was fine. I have not seen it. The only thing I didn't like... I started watching it, and I thought, yeah. Oh, no, I enjoyed that whole thing. The only thing I didn't like was um, the accent on the Witchfinder General, or whatever his name was. I didn't like his... Because I, I know the actor, and he's a good actor. And his accent was all over the place. Which I believe is actually how he's described in the book. But he just seemed like an actor who couldn't act or couldn't do an English accent or whatever he was supposed to be doing. A Scottish accent. Or a world, it was all over the place. Oh. It was half Irish, half Scottish. I, it, was all, it was all going over the place. Other than that, I thought it was a good show. Now, I am... Um, see, Neil Gaiman, he's a flipping freak. He is a weirdo... <laughs> who just likes to over-sexualise everything. Um, but Terry Pratchett, on the other hand, is, you know, one of the greatest writers. You know. Yeah. Um, and I'd much rather read a Terry Pratchett book than uh, one of Neil Gaiman's. Um, because he is a fucking deviant, really. Um, Turning everything to sex, what are you talking about? He wrote that wonderful... Uh Doctor Who episode where, oh yeah, you're right, the TARDIS was a woman who fell in love with the Doctor. <laughs> now I remember. Uh, and also don't like him because uh, one of my previous girlfriends, uh, rather than uh, seeing me off at the airport, she decided to go and um, go to one of his book signings rather than um, seeing me. Ah. So fuck him. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing personal then. Okay. Well, I'm glad you made it wherever you're going. Uh. Yeah, I need to get back into reading some Terry Pratchett stuff. Because I kind of. I got to the Unseen Academicals book and I never got to the end of that for some reason. I just 
not because it was bad, but I just other things go in my life and haven't any time to read. Is my excuse. And I've probably started that three or four times and never finished it. No, that's alright. I've got a toe patch book that I've started multiple times and never finished. Uh, equally, I have that. Um, and the, one of the first ones he did. I think Strata or whatever it's called. That I've never finished. That's like 100 pages. Ain't stupid. But I just can never finish it. Sorry, what book are you saying about? Talk about. Um, I can't even remember the name of the book. It's on my shelf at home. Well, <sighs> it helps the shelf downstairs. Because I'm at home. <laughs> Paint us a picture. And it's, it's on my... I started reading it when I was on holiday about two years ago. Ah, well, that's a good excuse not to finish a book. I do wonder what happened, because I used to read relatively quite a lot as a kid. And I just and I used to read, I'd take a book to bed and read before I went to sleep. But now I just lie in bed and wonder why I can't sleep. <laughs> Maybe I should go back to reading books again. Um Well I used to read a lot and then I started listening to podcasts uh, on the way to work. Ah uh, so I kind of stopped. Yeah, I put a lot of uh, YouTubey stuff on while I'm in bed, in the background. I used to listen to the shipping forecast a lot um, before YouTube, as a nice relaxing thing, and uh, French radio to drift off to. But now there are whole channels devoted to this stuff, so I can just have those on. But you like a bit of SMR, a ASMR? I do. I like I've liked ASMR since long before I knew what it was. I was into that as a as a young child. Although what they call ASMR is not necessarily what I call ASMR, because um, it's I suppose a bit personal. But yeah, it's all. A lot of the channels are all whispering into the microphone, licking your lips and all that. It's Trying not, to be not really my sort of thing. Sexualising it rather than. Well, yeah, because I think a bit of nil gaming. My yet. experience of ASMR was it's one of those when this is pre-internet, so it was one of those very personal things that I think no one ever knew anything that anybody else had, um, and it was just like, oh my, you know, you get the tingly feeling in your hair, and um, it's the nearest thing you can associate to is being turned on, but it isn't a sexual thing. It's like a, I'm going to say it's an intellectual thing, but that sounds a bit pompous. It's, um, but they they do sound like a brain orgasm. Um, and I knew I had it from various sounds, like if I could hear my dad back in a suitcase or my sister in the next room, whis not whispering, but like talking so you could just about hear her, or certain TV shows or, as I say, foreign language, where you can't really make out what's going on, but you can sort of get the the sounds of it. Um, usually if it's someone doing something with their hands and concentrating and they're good at it, uh, that is what works for me. And I'm going uphill. That's wrong. It's called downhill. This game isn't. It? Um, yeah. And then it. And then I sort of. I had that for years and years and years. And then one day the internet had been around for a few years, and I thought, oh, I can actually look up if this has a name or what, it, or if anyone else has it. Oh, I've bypassed something actually. Robert Llewellyn wrote a book, his biography, and he mentioned the same thing in the book. Uh, he called it fascination when he was watching someone doing some leather work. Um, and so that made me realise that other people did have it. And then, so later, I looked up on the internet and found out it's called ASMR. And people are into shit like that. And uh, ever since then, I have sought out various ASMR channels. But I say not the speaking to camera, licking your microphone crap. Which I don't put down. I'm sure that works for some people. But I would much rather watch, I don't know, a medical exam or someone... Uh, talking about a key ring. I don't fucking know. I'm making shit up. I did start buying uh, action figures and shit because I watched someone reviewing them because of that reason. Because it made me go to sleep. And that spent a lot of money. Action figures? How does it... Right. So, to go to What's sleep, you find figures? things are relaxing. Things that I find relaxing are... Oh, I finished a race, I think. Um, <laughs> things that I find relaxing... Are people talking about shit while doing things with their hands? And usually, if they're distracted by doing something, it's for some reason that works for me. I don't know. 
Um, and I found a guy who was chatting about, like, um, they're not called action figures, what are they called? Figurines, I don't know, like collectibles. Um, and I found that quite relaxing. And then they started reviewing the Arkham Knight, not Arkham Knight, Arkham Asylum action figure series. And just, and I started thinking, oh, I'll get one or that one, that's good. But then you have to get the other one to go with it. And end up buying the entire freaking run of them. Uh, three or four waves. I did sell quite a few, so I've made, I actually made some money out of it in the end. But, because there are extra ones in boxes. And I've still got a load on my shelf behind me now, which I should probably sell at some point, because I never actually look at them. And there's, <laughs> I could probably get me some money. Anyway, so yeah, I, and I prior to that, I always thought um, like figurines and shit were just tat that take up crap in your house and cost money, and you shouldn't get them. Uh, and like whenever you got like a free giveaway with a game or something or a film, and it was like a figurine, like an Assassin's Creed figurine or something, I think that's just awful rubbish. Why would anyone want that? And then I became one of those people that has them in their house and proudly displays them. See, so look, I. I'm at a point in my life where I just don't want physical things. I, I just... If I want something, I'll go out and buy it myself. But people giving me um, shit that I have to store or put somewhere, it's just worthless. It's, there's no point in giving me that kind of stuff. Yeah. I don't want it... Even if it's a present, I just don't want to own bits that will just clutter my life. I am the same in theory, but I also know I'm a hoarder. And that's why I don't want the stuff, because I know I end up keeping it. And I have so much crap to sort out. But yeah, well, okay, I won't give you anything then. Ever. Not physical, anyway. There's nothing physical, physical between us, John, I promise. Good. <laughs> uh, I'd much rather get... Um like a gift voucher. Plus, um, I'd much rather get things that I want rather than people buying me stuff, which is just like weird. That I don't. I. It's like I don't want to throw it away because I feel obliged. Yeah. I think the perfect present is something that you want, but you never buy it for yourself because you think it's a waste of money. Or you could be better spent. I. That's the sort of present I want. I. I want an extravagant thing I wouldn't buy for myself. But someone else grabs. when someone else buys it for me, I go, oh yeah, I really want that. Or you know, money. Money's good. Fuck. Uh, just tell me what's going on in your game, because I've seemingly gone back to the beginning again. <laughs> uh, what's going on in my game yeah. is I keep on hitting trees. Okay. Or rocks. Fucking... I'm doing the same level I was doing, and I'm fairly sure I finished it. I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> but I'm now. Yeah, you, you've got to do these challenges before you can get onto the next level. I, oh, what challenges do I do? I've been chatting about Terry Pratchett and stuff. I don't know what's going on. I can't multitask. I like the birds. The birds. Oh, stop going uphill. It's called downhill. That's more like it. Oh, fuck. I'm actually doing worse this time around then. Yeah. It's not like riding a bike, is it? <sighs> Right, I just uh, I just unlocked some new stuff. Excellent. Oh, I just got a brain tumor. I don't know what I've unlocked, but Not let's brain have tumor. a look at this. Uh, I got some new challenges. Yay! Hey, what are you? What um, challenges are you undoing to get challenge? Like, what what are the challenges that we're doing? Where are these presented to me? Other than steer and um, accelerate and whatever. Oh, fuck's sake. So I can change my bike color. I think I actually prefer the yellow. Oh, but change it. Um, <laughs> just Oh, I've got an expert challenge. That's what I really want to do. <laughs> well, you are an expert now. 
select mountain. Down there. Yes, I'd like to select a different mountain. Wandering woods. Let's do that. Oh, that sounds lovely. Yeah. Fuck! I accept that challenge. I like the blood splatter. Actually. So, Jason, while I've been talking to you, yes, while we've been recording, I had a social media suggestion for a friend, okay. and it was your sister. Oh, great! Funny enough. <laughs> I mean, you're welcome. So, <laughs> I can't actually remember the last time I spoke to your sister. Yeah, I am surprised at some of the friends I have who are friends with my sister, because. I, not anything against my sister, but we, me and my sister, I'm very, very well. I think for siblings, uh, but we don't speak a hell of a lot. We we probably meet up. Um, we we try and meet up like sort of once a month with the family, uh, but it probably is less than that. And we don't speak as often as we say we're going to. But I've got like friends who I think met her once who are friends with her, and I think it seems a bit weird to me. Because <laughs> it takes me forever to make friends with people on Facebook or on the social media things. I yeah, up. but is that just because you're not uh, a user? I'm not a you. you I'm not a user, no. Or Facebook. I have been drug free for many years. I have. Uh... No, my Facebook is a bit watching people. I don't actually contribute anything on Facebook, for example. Um. It's just, I ha I know more about people I went to school with who I haven't spoken to in 20 years than I do about people I work with or see as friends on a regular basis. Because I feel there are some people I know every intricate moment of because they seem to put it on social media and I never have to talk to them. And I suppose that's quite nice. But is that because we're just not social media people, you know? Probably. Um... I'm just not a social person, I don't need you. Um. I mean, it, it took starting this channel for me to start playing multiplayer games. That's how social I am. <laughs> well, I'm glad that I helped out. You did. I think I'm, I'm a bit of a... Here we go, this is getting a bit deep now. I think I'm a bit of a crap friend. Uh, in many ways, in the sense of well, I didn't want to say, but I yeah. know. Well, I think I, I, I'm not, I, not, I have a lot of friends Fuck. who I feel I know very well, and I consider very, very close friends, who I never really talk to, and that's quite a lot of my laziness at keeping in contact with people because I feel like I can start talking to someone again, and it feels to me like we had, we've, you know, we spoke a week ago or yesterday, and then. But I'm an oh, arse, and I will let it run for ten years or so, or you know, without seeing someone, unless some event happens. Well, you've got to think about it. We didn't talk at all during our university years. No, we would have it all through school, like five solid years of seeing each other, it, pretty much inside and outside school, and then we just. Oh, I thought you were going to say something else. <laughs> I don't know you that well. <laughs> Not like that. No. And we, and then we, we didn't drift apart. We just sort of, for some reason, it just sort of ended. Not ended, but well. We just, you know, it, it... I mean, from the... Oh, fuck. I don't... From the point of view, Jason, we, we spent five years at school in the same class pretty much all day together. Yeah. And then we went off and... We went we went to the same college. We just were in different classes. Yeah. I mean, you were off doing your... Arty farty. Um, art shit. <laughs> Thanks for having an open mind. <laughs> <laughs> and you did just... Uh... <laughs> I'm going to say you did science yeah. profit stuff, yeah. <laughs> Which has led to me to my current job, Jason. <laughs> well, and my arty farty stuff has led to me as my current job working in a pharmacy, obviously. <laughs> so, there you go. A degree well worth getting. No, it was. I'm still happy I did it. Uh, da -da -da -da. Downhill challenge. Um, but yeah, so to me and you have probably split up and got back together again probably two or three times now with gaps of almost a decade maybe maybe or maybe like three or four years of not really talking to each other but i always considered you like just a phone call away it was never like i sort of oh i don't want to talk to him it was just i didn't talk to you in the same way i still do lots of people i know i'm, I'm i think i'm just a crap person to keep in touch with 
Fuck. Uh, if you're not Fuck. immediately in my life. As in, on a, I see you a day-to-day -day basis. I find it hard enough to... Yeah, well, that, that happens with a lot of people. I know. But I don't have the excuse. A lot of my friends have families. A lot of my friends have other shit going on. I don't really have other shit going on. I still find it hard to find time to do stuff. I can't even read a book. <laughs> so what I'm saying, John, is I'm sorry. And I don't even think you missed me. Although we got together again. So, the first time we got together again was um, through Friends Reunited. Yeah. Yeah. And then that led to... What's Ray happened to that? I mean... Well, I don't know. Is it still going? It disappeared since Facebook. No, I think uh, Tesco's bought it out and then they um, sold it off and it shut down or something like that. I think Tesco's bought it. But that was a website when there was no real social media. And that was... Yeah, that that was the social media at the time. That really, was a wasn't brilliant it? piece of engineering. If you wanted to see what an old friend was doing, that's what you did. Now you know exactly what they're doing any given moment of the day. To pay for it, which was a brilliant model. <laughs> and you feel bad if you're not watching what they're doing, because I'll ask you later on. No, I don't. Ah! If any of my oh. friends want to see what I'm doing, they can watch this channel and see me failing to go down a hill. Oh, that's a nice little bike ride. <laughs> We're having very different experiences. <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah, that's that's. This is, I'm just recounting our time to get. I, I don't know. I know we keep. I keep talking like this is a. a uh, solid sexual relationship but it's not but <laughs> me and you John through the years school then apart then friendship friends reunited then pub quizzes every Sunday then the hungry horse yeah uh, which I probably don't do anymore and then I moved away oh. and uh don't do pub quiz. I don't do pub quiz anymore, actually. I'd like to do a pub quiz again. Yeah. Quiz anymore. And then I said, I suppose this. Playing games. Chatting about bollocks. This is our current relationship. Oh, oh. What's going on? Checkpoints. Massive air there. I must. Be. This game is actually quite fun, but very hard. Well, I got to the end. Especially some <laughs> of these camera views. I think it's quite enjoyable. Are you still on the first mountain, Jason? Yes. I think I've done this twice. I wasn't really paying attention the first time I came down the mountain. I uh, recently looked up the song uh, She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain When She Comes whatever it's called because I got into my head that it was probably an old raunchy song like a sea shanty type thing and it was quite sexual and it actually meant like when she comes and was it? no it doesn't mean that at all it is quite a tame song about a fucking train or whatever it is. But for some reason, I convinced myself the origin of the story. So what you're saying is that you are channeling, channeling your inner Neil Gaiman. Absolutely. Oh, I've not unlocked any other shit yet. Oh, I have unlocked an outfit. Oh, no, I haven't. I can unlock an outfit. So that's me. Yeah, boy. It's amazing that we've been playing this for 30 minutes. And how many times have you made it down the mountain? Possibly twice. Maybe once. I'm not sure. Yeah, I feel like I've been playing this for a while and... Um... Oh, fuck me. I just hit a rock. But I haven't unlocked any other trails yet. 
and I'm unsure of how to change the trailer on. It's alright. Widow's Ravine. Widow's Ravine? Was that the first one I did? Yeah, must be. Right. I'm lying on the floor. I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I, I I enjoyed this game. And that was a lonely mountain downhill or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was.